Hey guys, it's me Astrid and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Oregon Orchid Society show and sale that was this weekend. And I also want to talk to you about my orchid haul because boy do I have a freaking orchid haul today. Lord help us all, I got so many plants. But first off, I wanted to say it was so wonderful to meet lots of people at the show. I got to meet Bart Motes. Bart, you are like doubly as lovely in person as I thought you would be. You're so awesome. Same with Naoki Kawamura. I got to meet Naoki and he lives in the same city as me. So it's about damn time we crossed paths. You guys were so much fun. Uh, we hung out behind the Motes uh, table all day. I just kind of jumped on in and started selling orchids at people. Uh, so Bart, thanks for letting me do that. <laughs> and I also got to meet some of my fans from YouTube, which is really cool. Um, so I think I got to meet um, Maria. Hi Maria and her daughter Esmeralda, I think were your names. Um, it, thanks so much for coming up and saying hello. And I met one other lady, I think her name was Susan, and she gave me some sass for my potty mouth. So potty mouth's not gonna change, but neither are the orchids. So I think it's, I think it evens out in the end, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, it was such a blast to meet people. I had such a fun time. I got to see loads of my orchid friends. And not only that, I bought five orchids and I received six orchids as gifts. So it was, uh, talk about a successful day. I really love the Oregon Orchid Society show and sale. It's probably like my favorite one that we ha that I've been to um, throughout the year or so that I've been going to shows. And this is the second time I got to attend. It was great. Now I'm sure you guys are done with my jibber jabber and would like to hear and see some of the orchids I got. So let's go ahead and look at those, shall we? All right, let's finagle this camera. All right, so first off, um, this is from, I think, Lucky Girl Orchids. I think, I don't wanna give credit to the wrong folks. Pretty sure Lucky Girl Orchids is the vendor, but I got Dendrobium Microchip. And this one has like three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen canes. A little tiny cane. It has this one little baby cane here with one little flower on it, and that is just stinking adorable. Like I can't get over that. Um, on my camera, this plant is showing up a bit more green than it is in person. It's more of a cream color with a little bit of green. Now normally we like the uh, faces of flowers, you know, but I actually, let me sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Darn pollen. Anyway, I really love the back of these flowers. They're so speckly and this plant is just so ridiculously floriferous. I mean, look at this thing. Um, I got there right when the show was opening, so I had my first pick of like the absolute best plants, which is why you should always go early to a show. And that's how I got this wonderful um, Dendrobium microchip. I really kind of like how the, the spikes are pendulous and they're so weighted down, they're, they're simply wonderful. And even this spike is a little bit broken, but I tried to bend it up here so it can still get um, nutrients up to the flowers and they're actually holding up pretty well on this one. So yeah, but gosh, what a lovely, what a lovely little bloom display. This one kind of smells like earwax to me. I would not say it is a nice smelling orchid, but it is not um, extremely offensive to me either, but it does smell like earwax, it's odd. And these skinny little canes on the bottom going up to a fat cane. I. Dendrobium microchip's great, guys. Moving on. Um, I got three gifts from my friend Jason. Oh my god, Jason, thank you. I forget what this one is called, though. It's a division of a plant. He said it's about two years from blooming. Is it Lelia anseps? I don't know. Jason, tell me what this is. I'll put a label if I get around to it. Jason also divided his dendrobium fire wings, which I have been like fawning over this orchid that he's brought into the orchid society for like a year like i this this is just a stunning 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 dendrobium like i i really can't get enough of it these flowers are great he says it's like constantly in bloom and the flowers last for basically months 
basically months. This is like a dream orchid of mine and oh, I love orchid friends for dividing their plants and giving them to me. Bless you. Bless you, Jason. This is wonderful. He also dumped off on me a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana. So I am now the proud owner of Phalaenopsis Schilleriana and I, I am in love with these mottled leaves. They're just beautiful. Now this one, um, something cool about Phalaenopsis Schilleriana, not only are the blooms pink and beautiful and smell delightful, but the leaves are mottled and the roots are this really cool texture. They're very silvery and I bet if you cut it and made a cross section it would be shaped like a cat eye and I think that's just great. Like I really love Phalaenopsis Schilleriana roots and I know maybe that's weird but hey I'm into weird little details as Rachel gardening at Duenza has pointed out in the past. So yeah. Um, these are my three gifts from Jason. Jason thank you so much for just throwing some orchids my way. I'm, I love these. They're wonderful. Next we got um, Equigenera. Equigenera, whichever way you pronounce it, came. And so I got finally a Lelia purpurata um, variety Carnia. And this was like 25 bucks for this huge plant. The, the leaves are like a foot long. Um, they're so firm. The leaves are really, really firm and sturdy. Like, I love this. Not to mention, this one I purchased because it has two new growths that are very, very healthy looking. They've even grown a little bit just sitting in a bag for a few days. Like, they're doing really well. And the best part about this is that these new growths have not yet put out roots. So, what I can do is pot this up and then the new roots are just going to emerge and settle into whichever potting mixture that I choose. Hopefully, it'll go really well. I'm planning on putting this into semi-hydroponic. Maybe some of you guys are going to scream about this, but this is my first attempt at like a big Cattleya type orchid. And I've always loved Lelia purpurata, even when I didn't know very much about orchids. And the Carnia has such nice pink lips. So I'm very excited. These smell really, really good. Um, let's go on to the, the, the wonderful gifts from Bart Motes. Oh my god, Bart, thank you so stinking much. Here, um, he's given me another Naoki Kawamura. I told him mine wasn't doing very well, so this one is named after my friend that I got to meet. So yay! Um, it has a lot more leaves. It looks in kind of better condition than mine, for sure. Uh, I might try water culture with this or something and see if I can get roots to come out. I'm not sure what to do, but uh, I'm still learning with Vandacious Orchids. We'll, we'll put it at that. Next I was given Mr. No Tag Bart OMG. What is this guy called? It has these lovely um, orange flowers. They're like a red orange and they're super pretty. I think they're kind of wilty because this one also sat in a bag since I got home from the orchid show. But look at this root system. Hello, roots. Sexy, sexy roots. You can also see that it's bloomed previously like twice and this is its third spike. So that's very nice. Now, Danny, if you're watching Miss Orchid Girl, you're going to be jelly. Or maybe everyone else is going to be jelly because Danny already has this, but look what this. Rinka Stylet, Rinka Reedy's Bangkok Sunset. Bart gave me this and I, I'm like shitting. This, this is a phenomenal orchid. And if you have not seen this orchid, go on to Danny's channel and look up the Bangkok Sunset. This orchid is beautiful. The flowers are stunning and the fragrance is so Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is such a beautiful plant and it was on my wish list forever. Bart didn't even know, but he gave it to me and I'm in love, in love, in love, in love. Oh my God, Bart. Thank you. This, this thrills me. It thrills me. It gives me chills. All right. So now thanks to Rachel gardening at Duenza, I've kind of gotten into Galliandra orchids. This is Galliandra Batemanii, I think. Batemanii. 
I'm not sure. I got it because it has a new little growth here. Looks like it's coming out of dormancy, and boy, is this a teeny little orchid. I don't know if this is gonna necessarily be blooming size yet, but I'm really excited to see how this does for me. It's related to catacetums. You can cross catacetum with Galliandra, and you get a cross called Catasandra, which is cool. So I'm assuming that it's gonna take pretty similar care to my catacetony types, and this is a small, mini type orchid. Rachel said that it'll stay small, so I'm looking forward to this staying probably under 10 inches tall. And boy, is it cute. Um, next, we also have <laughs> Arrangus Distincta. So you can see this here. Um, this is from Botanical Limited Orchids from Montana. And this one is super cool. My friend Jason got the same one and mounted it and it looks like a baby staghorn fern when it's mounted. Can you imagine that? I can imagine that. I bet it's called Arrangus Distincta because all the leaves are forked, like little forked devil tongues or something. I, I love that about it. The roots are nice, this is in good condition, and I'm really excited to see what happens with this plant, but the fact that it looks like a baby staghorn fern is the best thing. And in the words of Jason, it's a staghorn fern that blew Yes, it is. And the grand finale that I have been trying not to show you for this is a wonderful orchid. When we were at the show, these all sold out in about an hour. Like, they were gone. And that's why you go early, because you get beautiful things like this. Yes. This is a Dendrobium Super Nestor. It's a cross of Dendrobium Anosmum and Parishii. And this thing was in bud when I bought it and it started blooming the day I bought it. It was perfect timing. This orchid smells wonderful like raspberries. It's super sweet. And my boyfriend let me hang it in his house above his bathtub, though I've got it in the kitchen right now, just showing you. It has two new growths. The canes are just so, so long, and the blooms, oh my god, the blooms, they open up rapidly. Um, I predict by tonight at least half of these are going to be really open, and it, I can't say enough, this is so, so beautiful. Even if I kill it, it was worth the money to just have this bloom display in my home for a while, like OMG. You can see this one's got the fuzzy, fuzzy little lip. It's got this wonderful detail. Of course, my camera won't focus on that right now. Why, oh why? Why you do this? There we go. You can see that fuzzy, soft little lip, and the blooms are so pretty. The petals are a little bit translucent. They look like the flowers are starting to fade because the petals are translucent, but it's, it's not really fading, it's just opening. So we'll see how the color develops, but I love the dark centers, I love the fuzzy lip, and I love the fragrance of this. Oh my goodness, this orchid is a delight and a half. Wow. And this is Dendrobium Super Nestor. I'm not sure why it's called Super Nestor because the same parentage is called Dendrobium Nestor. I'm not sure what it is about that, but if you want an orchid like this, Dendrobium Nestor or Super Nestor is what you look for. Behold. This is beautiful. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a selfie with this, okay guys. Ah! So thank you so much for watching. I hope you go out and support your local orchid shows and sales. I hope you get a chance to buy beautiful plants. And um, I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thanks for your love and support all the time. Happy growing.